What's going on dudes, this is Muzza, and uh, we're playing some Fallout New Vegas as you can see. Uh, this footage in the background that you guys are going to be watching is me uh, going through the fort, which is like where the Caesar's Legion is like held up. Um, going to be killing Caesar and killing all his guards and basically just running a train on this entire uh, area and just destroying people. Look at that, one shot of that guy, one shot of that guy. Uh, I do work on this character. This is my melee weapons character. Um, he's got 100 melee and 100 explosives. And uh, in this video, he's level 29, but he's been level 30 uh, for the past like three weeks, I think. Uh, 30 is the max level in this game. My second character is somewhere near 20. I think he's like 17 or 18. And uh, I want to work on getting him maxed out as well before the new downloadable content comes out. Um, there's going to be new, some new DLC coming out for this game on December 21st, I think. It's going to be called Dead Money. It's going to have some new quests, some new side quests. Uh, probably raise the level cap, maybe, I don't know, but I'm sure there's going to be a ton of new weapons. So I'll try to make a guide for all the new weapons and um, just keep making Fallout videos for you guys because I love Fallout New Vegas. It's a lot of fun and uh, it's lots of crazy stuff to do in this game. Uh, if you guys want, I can make a tutorial for how to get power armor because uh, I have power armor on this character. As you can see, this is the Remnants power armor. The other power armor you can get in this game is called the Brotherhood of Steel power armor, which is you can either have the 45D or the 51B. There's two different versions. Um, but I have the Remnant. It's my favorite. It's like the, the best as far as damage threshold, but uh, doesn't, it has like a negative effect on charisma because you look so ugly. You can't be very charismatic. Uh, but I think it looks badass, so I love it. Um, but I'm just going through Caesar's Legion right now. I'm just wrecking face because uh, on this character, I'm kind of an independent. Um, when you go through the storyline, you can beat it in multiple ways. You can be sided with the NCR. You can side with Mr. House. You can side with Caesar's Legion. Um, you can side with any of the factions in the game. And then uh, also, uh, every single decision you make in this game affects the ending that you get. There's tons of different endings that you can get. There's like tons of different combinations of things that you can do. Um, so this game has tons of replayability value, and I think that's why I'm going to have a lot of fun. I think I'm going to make three characters. Uh, I already have two made and leveled up decently. This character's max level. My other character's going to be max level and probably like 20 more hours played. And then uh, I want a third character that's unarmed and uh, uh, have him really, really dumb. I don't want to put any points into science or medicine or anything. I just want him to be straight up retarded. Because uh, it's funny, because if you make a character with no intelligence, like l intelligence level of one, uh, all of your speech will just change. Like, you will you can't even talk how you would normally talk, because uh, your guy's just so retarded. So I want to do that, too. Um, this game is just really, really fun as far as if you like role-playing, if you like uh, uh, MMOs, you'd probably like this game, because it, it has that MMO feel, but it's just not online. I think once they make a Fallout uh, online RPG where you can level up with people, I think that would be amazing. Because I have a lot of fun, even though this game is just single player. It's just a straight up single player campaign game. Uh, but it's got lots of free room. It's You can travel all over the place. You can do side quests. You can just do the main quests if you want. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Right here, I'm in Caesar's tent, as you can see. And I keep almost dying, so I keep uh, downing these stim packs right here. Luckily, I had enough stim packs to survive. I kill all the guards, and I, then I managed to kill Caesar as well. Um, and if you can manage to do this and kill all these guys, you'll make probably like uh, $20,000 to $40,000 uh, just from selling all their items because Caesar's guards do a lot more damage than Caesar himself does. Um, Caesar's guards have like these power fists. They have like a stun animation and a, it really it like knocks you down and does a shitload of damage too. Um, so if, I don't recommend coming here unless you're max level and you want to just have some fun. Uh, but yeah, they killed Lily and they killed Rex and... <laughs> I almost killed me. Uh, luckily, I had all those stim packs. So, um, but I hope you guys are liking Fallout New Vegas. If there's anything you want me to help you with, leave a comment in the bottom bar. Or, well, I guess it's not the bottom bar. Leave a comment below on this video, and uh, I will make lots of Fallout videos. Also, if you guys want to check out all of my previous Fallout videos, uh, open up the description of this video. Every video has a description on YouTube if you're kind of a YouTube noob. Um, always read the video description of every video I put up. It's really, really important. Uh, that's where almost every question you ask can be answered because I try to answer all the obvious questions in the description. Um, but what's down there, check the description of this video. I put together a playlist of all my Fallout New Vegas videos into one playlist. So if you guys want to check out any Fallout video from me, 
you can do that all in one click and I think I've made like 17 videos up until now this will be my 18th follow video on my channel and uh, I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon there's gonna be some new DLC coming out like I said there's still lots of weapons I haven't talked about I still wanna show you guys how to beat the mother deathclaw I wanna uh, show you guys how to beat deathclaw while sniping I wanna show you guys how to use stealthy characters how to do different side quests how to get power armor um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of tutorials for you guys so if you haven't picked up Fallout New Vegas and it looks interesting to you Go to GameStop, buy Fallout New Vegas. I'm sure it's probably gone down a little. It's not that new anymore. It might still be 60 bucks, but you might be able to find it used. And uh, tell the people at GameStop that Muzzafuzza told you to buy it. Because that'd be funny if like 50 people randomly went and bought Fallout New Vegas and they were like, yeah, this dude named Muzzafuzza told me to buy it. And <laughs> like 50 random GameStops all over uh, just randomly hear about me. That'd be hilarious. Um, so if you guys are on the fence about buying it, definitely check it out. It's worth the money. Um, honestly, I, I have more fun on this game than I do on Black Ops. That's straight up. Uh, but this video is just about over. Hope you guys liked me killing Caesar. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you guys later.